Hey everybody, it's Sherry here with my mom, Linda. And we thought we would show you some different examples of uh, different colors of stained glass, different textures. And mom's gonna talk to you about the ones that we have chosen. We've tried to pick a large variety out here of some really pretty glass. And so she's gonna tell you about that. Mom, go ahead and let us know about these. This is called an end piece. I don't know what you know about when they make glass, but of course they put it, the chemicals in a big furnace and get it over 2,000 degrees. Then they, it's liquid and they bring it out and put it on a roller table and they pour it out of this big shovel thing and this glass, they pour the blues, the reds, yellows, greens in this particular piece all on this table and then they mix them just like we would mix cement and it rolls to the end of the table. Well, they cut it and then when they get to the end, they, they've they cut their pieces out but they have end pieces and that's what this is, is the end of a, of a piece of glass. So can you, let's this see this, one, let's see the side of it. We're, that may have not shown up where they, yeah, it, yeah it, you can see that little uh, rigidy thing yeah, there on the ends. Yeah, where it poured out and wasn't, wasn't leveled out. This is the same piece of glass at a different Gorgeous. position. Mm -hmm. I've had these glasses for years, just sitting in the window looking at them. I don't like we're know. doing now. Uh, they're almost too they, pretty to... They look... I don't see it look... Back side, they're a little bit different. Uh, they're just pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and it's so, it's crazy how it look like one design on one side and then you flip it over and some of the colors that are dominant on one side, you may not really even see that much. These are some little different with little designs. Let me get a close up of that. That's a texture. That's, yes, that's, that's similar that's, to our... So that's just a, a texture glass dot. Mm -hmm. This is another little texture. We mm -hmm. use this one. We like it for the middle of our sunflowers. Mm -hmm. Works up real well. Mm -hmm. This one is a beautiful piece. Do you want to, here, let me hold this for you while you put those. Well, I've got them. Okay. It, it has blues, pinks, yellows, greens. Gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then the other side of it is right. altogether different. While we're waiting on mom to come back, I want you to look at her beautiful view that she has up here on top of the mountain. Gorgeous view. This is winter, so everything's still brown. No flowers in the flower pots yet. But look at that pretty view that she has every day. Okay, what you got? This is another textured. They all yeah. have names, but I'm not. Okay, let's good hold enough. this. Let's hold it flat, like more like the. Yeah, there we go. So okay. we can pick that up. Yeah. So it's just a different, different printed, smooth. Just on the stamped. Back. I guess they stamp, stamp that then when they. I have no idea. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I'm sure they. They probably run it through a roller. It's that has that a design. roller with that. Mm-hmm. On that. And here's the same, not the same color, but it has a different texture on it. I have to turn it kind of like this to get okay. the light on it there. Kind of see that texture. It's just a, something a little different. So what would you like, use, what would you use those oh, textures that would, for? That would make up, if you were making a woman, that would make pretty hair. If it was mm -hmm. maybe in a redhead, another <laughs> color. <laughs> and they come all in color. See it? It's or I'm thinking fall leaves. Leaves with that pretty. red and the golds, mm -hmm. and then that veining just gives it a texture, yep. like maybe leaves. Very nice. This is an opaque one. You mm -hmm. can't see through it. Mm -hmm. But it's got some pretty yellow, pinks. Hold it back up again. 
This is an old piece of glass. Hold it up here. There we go. There you go. There's it's like fire. Red, yellow. Mm -hmm. Let's flip it over. See, you have mm -hmm. a completely different right. design. Okay. Well, this is one of my favorites. It has blues. Kind of like a sky. Kind of a lime water. Greenish, yellowish. Mm -hmm. a, little a little touch of red. A little rosy. Mm -hmm. And then this color on this side. It's just a little bit different. Very nice. And here's one. I uh, have no idea what it's called. I don't. Well, it has bubbles in it's it. It's got air bubbles, almost it's like seated hard. glass, but yeah. not quite. It's uh, be a little. It's got a smooth side. You always cut on the smooth side. Mm -hmm. But very nice. Make a nice background. If you just needed a little bit of texture. One of my favorites is coming up. Here's confetti. This comes in different colors. Uh, but this one, Any idea how they make that? I would think no, but it's hard to cut because when you run <laughs> into these, it's like it, an it's extra layer. An extra layer of glass. But isn't that pretty? I've always wanted you to use that, and and we were hoping that on this door that we're working on, we could use it, and it just never worked out. But it's. It's one of my favorites. I think it's pretty. Pretty piece. Some of these are just pretty just to put in the window and look at them without cutting them up. Now this is a, another opaque. And this one has some white, quite a bit of white in it. And you see the little, little circles? Circles. This is the only thing I can think this would do is for a frog. <laughs> Mama calls this her frog this glass. This is my frog glass, and I've never made a frog, but one of these days I'll make a frog. If you do, and you'll be ready. Yes, you'll have your I'm glass. Ready. I have his spots anyway. I think that side's, I like it better. Just yeah. maybe a little different. Well, just changes. <clears throat> this. It's a beautiful piece of glass with the blues, greens. Very pretty. When you turn it over, you have a little. Another opaque. Now here's one. I mean, now it's gonna show up. This you're is, gonna have to get it down. This is iridized. Probably not it's showing rough, up the best. Rough on this side, but the back side is iridized. There it is. There and, it is. And if you, if you later on, I'll show you. I'll show you an iridized one that I have hanging. We'll show it, hold it up, so we can see what it looks like. So in the in, the, it almost looks like clouds or something. Kind of a light yeah. blue. I'm not sure if my phone's going to pick it up. Exactly, but it's it's kind of got a light blue and you don't see the iridized on it at all until you get it out of the sun and, and get it a little bit in the shade and then it'll show up. Come over here and see if you can get this one. It's iridized on the background. And you just kind of have to move around. Oh yeah, and, it's showing up. And mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it. It was showing. Okay, so we're going to go outside and look at it. Here again is that pretty view. We've got to look at that. Okay. And then you can see the iridized on that showing up on this side. Very nice. I think it's pretty Earl bounce on it. Okay. And here's Sherry's water glass. <laughs> this is her favorite. I love the water glass. You can see the gentle waves, the waves in it. Very nice. Just a little bit of a ripple effect. Uh-huh. 
This one is weird looking. It's an old, old piece of glass come from Scott Glass here in LaFleur County, Oklahoma back in the 70s. They made a lot of um, uh, a lot of the flat glass and then they had little decorative offsho offshoots that made little decorative uh, swans, swans and mm -hmm. I've got, I have one of the swans. Mm -hmm. You want to see it? That's a very that's a very old piece. Uh-huh. Real old. Surprised you haven't broken it yet if in the and travels. This one we marked off a uh, pattern beside not to use it. So that one just has a little but it's, it's got a little, little bit of a bump mm -hmm. look to it. Kind of a texture. But it's again it's fairly smooth on the back side. Nothing nothing to and then, about. Then you say the red is just a little more expensive. Red is red and pinks are more expensive. They tell me they have uranium in them or, and they're getting harder to find. Mm. This is our glue chip. This is one of my favorites for the background. Uh, the one I, I think looks like I frost. understand it's a plain piece of glass and they pour some kind of glue on it. And I'm not for sure. And then it, it does a crackle effect. Mm -hmm. It's To me that looks it like comes, frost. <clears throat> I, I don't know whether you can get it now, but it did come in different colors. Mm. Uh, it's some of the glass places have gone out of business, moved to Mexico, and a lot of our glass comes from there, it's from China. This is a steel blue broke. Baroque. Baroque. That's kind and of a... It comes in different colors, too, and, and when you get a large sheet of it, this will go all the way through, mm. and you can use it on your background. And go, you have one. That almost one. looks like ocean waves, mm -hmm. maybe, if you yeah. wanted some movement. Very nice. And here's the pretty green. Mm-hmm. Again, it, the it's, it's got the texture. Not, not, not a lot of texture. Not a lot, but it's... Just enough to give it a little smooth on the other side. Mm -hmm. Call that a Christmas green. Well, here's a pretty little iridized. Okay, hold it down, and I want to get that because that one's really iridized. Maybe, yeah, there it is. You can see it. It's very pretty. Got a lot of pinks and some mm -hmm. light blues in it. Oh, there it is, yeah. Very nice. Hold it up and let's see what it looks like in the window. It's just a pretty dull looking, but yeah. it's still it's got But it's that very pretty. Iridized. Mm -hmm. And this one, last but not least. Oh, here he's weird. showing he's showing iridized right there. Right where the way you have it. It's uh, iridized, but you can't see through it. It's a very rough. It's, it's smooth, actually, on this side. But it's called a mirrored and reflection. Uh, on the back side, then, it looks like a mirror. It, was, has, it has the same, uh, whatever they put on the mm -hmm. back of the mirror. Mm -hmm. and so you I can't have, see through it, and it's no. got this black coating. I have used this in one piece, and it it's really made up pretty, but you mm -hmm. don't see the... You can't see through it. Uh -huh. um, so that's all our nice. glass. All right. Well, we just... all of our glass. It's all we're showing. It, we just wanted to give you some idea of the many different colors, the, the different textures, and the different opaques that are available in in the glass that you can uh, purchase and while we're here standing in mama's living room i just want to peek around the corner in the sunroom and just show you her stained glass and and we've already talked about some of these but i just wanted to give you a little bit of a just a little tour here of uh, some of her stained glass Mom, you want to tell us, oh, come over here and let's just visit about these. You want to tell us about the bird here? This yeah. is a solid piece of... <clears throat> this is an old... Get right here. 
This is an old piece, one of the first that I've done. This is an overlay of copper foil, bought it by the sheet, had the pattern, cut it out with a, a razor blade, and it's adhesive on the back. So I laid it on the glass and soldered it. You have to be very careful. If you get it too hot, you break your glass. Mm -hmm. So this is, is copper and it's old, so it's it's lost the pretty shiny. The sun. Let me see if I, I can hold it flat. There you go, where I can get this. There. Uh, probably if I took some copper cleaner and cleaned it up, it would just be shiny mm -hmm. and bright. Oh, and here's this cross of the the piece that we just showed you that had the black on the back of it. Well, Mom made a, this little cross, and and it shows up quite nicely without the sun shining on it directly. So you can yeah. still see the reflection of that. So, yeah. The sun, it does. And so for this past Christmas, Mom made everyone in our family little crosses. And here's a smaller one. This one is mine that she made me. And then around the crosses, this is a chain pull chain, like mm -hmm. real light fixture. Yeah. And I've soldered it on. Well, that's a good idea. And this one has what's called a ladder chain soldered on it. Let me get up close uh, enough to it. Okay. You have to Pretty well have to put something around the edge or you So all the all the kids you made quite a few of those yeah, everybody, this for Christmas. Everybody got so one everyone last year for Christmas. Here's the pretty sunflower. She just recently completed this one and there's that brown the brown middle with the uh, the little bumps that looks like it needs to be there like a flower center. I think that one's really pretty. Here's one of my favorites. Now, I do have pictures of all of these. Um, if you'd like to look at them a little closer, there will be pictures of all of these on the website as well. This has the raindrops in the background for the background. Very pretty. It's one of my favorites. And here's a little marble. That's a, just a little glass marble. I like the, the blues and the greens in that one. And the little pear, he's pear. a very early one. He's he's probably overripe because he was made back in the <laughs> 80s. He's, he's been around for a he's while. He's been around a while. Um, All right. Well, she has many more pieces here in the house that uh, we may do a video a little later and show you those. But we just wanted to touch base with you today and show you the different styles and colors of stained glass. So we hope you enjoyed that.